Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 28 of Direwolf20's FTB Retro Series. Today, I would like to complete the quest objective that I was just staring at, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, it looks like, remember I just recently got Nether Wart, or at least access to Nether Wart. So that doesn't look terrible. Um, I actually think that should be really easy to brew up some of the recipes that I need. Um, now I do have blaze rods, right? I did learn how to get blaze rods. Let's see, you give me some uranium. That'll lock me down into fuel. Nice. That's what I want, blaze rods. Um, probably, I mean, I think four brewing stations should be good. And that seems totally reasonable to me. Nice. Um, the reason I want to complete this quest is because it seems like the next logical quest to complete since I just recently got Nether Wart. Uh, quick bee update. Uh, bees will mostly be off camera at this point because holy cow are they slow in this version. Holy cow are they slow in this version. Dude, they are so slow. Meadows cultivated, meadows, meadows. I guess this is the best one to combine. They're just so slow. I mean, I'm used to like the later versions with extra bees and the frames and you can speed up the rate that they die at and you can increase the chance that they'll breed and you can manipulate their genes and it's like fun this is just put them in a machine and wait 10 minutes for them to die oh, it's brutal um so that's gonna happen a lot off camera and i'm getting to the point where i might just say like uh, I'd rather just have the bee that I want and automate it. But let's see if we get anywhere with blood, sweat, and tears. Um, so, that's a bunch of junk. This is a junky bee. I've started, like, just voiding the bees that I don't need anymore because they're, they're, we're at that point. Okay, so brewing stand. We need to brew some stuffs. Uh, let's get some water bottles. So, I don't even know if I have water bottles, but we're about to get some. So I want to teach the EMC water bottle doohickey. I've got water nearby somewhere. Yeah, here's some. Yoink. Hooray. You're worth no EMC. Okay, cool. Well, that's neat. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it? Just nine potions? I mean, that seems easy. Seems like totally easy. It almost seems too easy. I'm wondering where the catch is. Man, you can't even shift click in the brewing stands these days. Brutal. So we're gonna need three nether wart. This should actually be surprisingly quick and easy. One, two, three. And I have the screenshot of what I need to make on my other screen, so we're gonna see in a minute here. So we're going to need Splash Potion of Slowness, uh, which requires gunpowder and a Splash Potion. We're gonna need Fermented Spider Eyes. And we're gonna need Sugar. So Sugar shouldn't be a problem for me. Right? Um, and I'm going to try and do this efficiently, right? So, I'm going to need fermented spider eyes. Uh, potion of weakness. I need. It says 1.07. I don't know what that means, but I guess it's. Oh, it's splash potion of weakness. There it is. Okay, yeah. So, that's going to also need a fermented spider eye. Okay. So, we're going to need a couple fermented spider eyes. I could probably do this all in one, right? So let's see if we can like be smart about this. Do I have any spider eyes? Eyes have an e ooh, 128. Okay, so if I did one twenty eight, we're gonna want at least a few of these guys. So fermented spider eyes also require mushrooms, which I think I've got somewhere. They have an EMC value of what? 32? 
Yep. There you go, one fermented spider eye. So splash potion of weakness, slash potion of slowness, and we're also gonna want poison. Splash potion of poison, the 16. So that is going to need glowstone, a regular spider eye, and more. Okay, cool. So let's get another piece of sugar here. What else? Regen, harming, and healing. So what's harming? I'm trying to like, because this is going to be an easy quest, I want to make it like super efficient, right? So that's going to be poison two with a fermented spider eye. Cool. So I'm going to want two poison twos, um, right? So poison two will yield... Uh, that's the, that's the 22 second one. Is that the one that I want? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I want. Okay. So let's do two poison twos, which is going to need glowstone and a spider eye. So we're going to want two poison twos. I know that much. So let's do that. We're probably going to need a bunch of glowstone while we're here. Just gonna grab a stack. Well, have a stack, because why not? Cool. So that's two poison twos. Um, glowstone will turn that into a second degree of poison. The old Bruin stand. And one of those gets a fermented spider eye. We're also gonna want the weakness. So we're gonna want 107 weakness, which requires awkward with a fermented spider eye. So one of these is going to go over here with a fermented spider eye, is basically what it comes down to. One of them being the poison two. One of them being the awkward. And then what else needed it? Slowness, right? Splash potion of slowness needs... Swiftness. Now, I do need a splash potion of swiftness here, so let's go ahead and get. Might as well get two of these with sugar in them. Because we need swiftness too. Which is glowstone and a potion of swiftness. Cool. So one of you get glowstone, and one of you goes over with the fermented spider eye. I think that'll work. Right? And then these will all become the potions that I need. Many of these need to be splash potions, so I'm making gunpowder out of it. All right, so we need splash potion of harming. I might have derped something up, but potion of weakness can become splash potion of weakness. 107, yes. Splash Potion of Slowness needs to be the three one, so that needs to be, so I need to add redstone to this. Now you are going to be my Splash Potion of what, Poison? So how did I derp that up? You needed to be poison 16. Well, maybe you weren't gonna be that. What were you gonna be? Splash potion of harming two. Oh yeah, no, no that, that's cool. Right, so you gunpowder, you plus gunpowder equals the potion of slowness, cool. And then weakness, plus gunpowder equals weakness 107. Yes. So these three should be good and exactly what I need. You, by the way, are speed two. So I need that to be a splash potion of swiftness too. Cool. This is tricky to track. 
but I think I've pretty much got what I need here. So that's four of the nine that I need to make. Okay, and that's Splash Potion of Poison too. So that's five out of the nine. So now we also need Strength. And that needs to be the Splash Potion. So that needs Gunpowder, Glowstone, Blaze Powder. In addition, we're going to need Fire Resist. That needs to be a Splash Potion 215. So that needs Magma Cream. I'm assuming that I've gotten a slime ball at some point, haven't I? MC24? Have I not gotten a slime ball? Because that would be a bummer. I haven't gotten a slime ball. What's magma cream? I haven't gotten one of them, have I? That's the MC792. It would be here. That's a bummer. So we have to make ourselves a slime ball using pollen which comes from one of the tiers of bees that I'm hopefully close to. You're killing me! Common, common. Come on, common. No, not common. Pure person. <sighs> Freeze, direwolf. Freeze. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's gonna be alright. Meadow's diligent. I forget where pollen comes from. And, of course, I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned because I'm recording. Had I not been recording, I would not have been poisoned. That's the way things work. All right, so we totally need to get ourselves pollen. Once I get pollen, I can get slime balls, and then I can complete this quest. So, how are you doing? You got an unwary princess, which is kind of cool. You're rapidly escalating up the chain faster than I want you to, if I'm being totally honest, Mr. B. Cultivated diligent, common diligent. So what I'm going to do is put unwary common with cultivated diligent here. And we'll just cross our fingers that good things work out. And then this is a common diligent. You're going to be bred with another type of bee. I made myself more apiaries. Um, for obvious reasons. What do we got in here, princess-wise? Forest princess? Why not? You with the common diligent. Now let me go look up where pollen comes from. So the good news is I think this stringy comb that we're getting from the unweary is where pollen comes from. Am I right about that? Well, it's definitely going to get me propolis, which we want. Uh, we want lots of propolis. So this is actually a good branch to have. You're just not getting there in the direction that I wanted you to get there. Um, what are you not happy about? Sky obstructed? No way, sky obstructed. There. Stop your belly aching. Alright. Uh... I think these guys make pollen. Um, but it has to get all the way up to industrious. So this is unwary. We got diligent, we got unwary. Not purebred, of course, because that would be too awesome. Uh, we need to get him all the way up to the top tier, which is industrious. Then he'll start making pollen. Then I can get slime balls. Then I can complete this quest. So while those guys are cooking, let's see what other potions I need. Um... So I've got you, which is the, I need splash potion of, no, do I want splash potion of strength? Yes, the 107 splash potion of strength. Um, so the 107 version is two. So that is glowstone, right? So let's get you going. Um, aside from fire resist, I need swiftness too. Did I get that one already? No, I got this. Yes, I did get swiftness too. Cool. Uh, regeneration too. 
Splash, Potion of Regen 2. Gunpowder, Glowstone, Gas Tier. Have I found Gas Tiers? I don't know that I've gotten Gas Tiers yet. 4096 EMC. I mean, I know a way to get Gas Tiers. Um, 4096 EMC? Can you focus? Gas Tiers would be in here. So, we need to go get Gas Tiers. So while my bees are breeding, I have to go to the nether, which will unchunk load this area. And I don't think chunk loaders exist in this version of Minecraft. Um, so that's fun. Splash Potion of Strength 107. That's what I need, right? Yes. Um, so what we're going to do is go to the nether and try and find ourselves some gas tears. Hooray. Bring in this guy. Because remember, he's what I need. So that's another quest objective. I told you there would be a catch. Remember, do you not remember me at the beginning of this episode saying, what's the catch? This sounds easy. I'm probably sure I have everything I need. Oh, oh, already ran into two items I don't have. Luckily not the end of the world. What is going on down here? Why are you flickering so much? Yeah, as you can see, I've started bee breeding down here. Why are you flickering? All right, I don't know why you're flickering, but you're about to... Well, that works. That might negate my need for pollen. Where'd you go? Did you... <sighs> Nuisance. Give me what I want. Or don't. Oh, hello. Hello. Gas tier, check. All right, come here, you guys. Uh, I'm gonna take one of you. Come with me if you want to live. Which is the opposite of what's gonna happen to you. You're not gonna live. Magma cream, nice. I didn't remember if uh, these slimes existed in this version, but hey, that just made my life a heck of a lot easier. I'm sure I'm still gonna want slime balls at some point, um, but hey, what's up, Magma Cream? How are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for making an appearance in my series. Teleport. Love teleporting rings. All right, it's raining, but first things first. Learned. Learned. Nice. All right. Um, so one of you is going to go Magma Cream, and one of you is going to go Gas Tier. Let's just ensure I know what I'm doing here. So regen, I also want healing too. But regen two, splash potion of regeneration two, needs glowstone and gas tier. Um, fire resistance, I need a splash potion of fire resistance, the 215 one, which is gonna need magma cream and just straight up gunpowder. Uh, you needed uh, regen two. Which was glowstone, right? Food splash of regen two? Yes. So it's glowstone and then gunpowder. So regen glowstone. And then I need a splash potion of healing. So I'm gonna need one more gunpowder. But I got two. Alright, so that is a splash potion of fire resistance 215. Check. You are. Regen 2, you need gunpowder. And then I need healing. Splash potion of healing 2. Which needs... Glistening melon. Melon being EMC 16. And glistening melon is just... Honey drops and honey dew. Really? Or just... What am I supposed to do that? I'll do this one. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like I'm gonna go that route. I was gonna say, hold on a minute. Didn't glistening melons used to be something with, with gold? I'm having a day, guys. As you can probably tell. Let me sleep through this rain. 
Alright, um, so you with the glistening melon. Should give healing. Splash potion of healing too. Needs gunpowder and glowstone. Cool. Alright, so you're regen too. So by the way, just want to mention this. Um, you saw my thing down there? I got bees to the point where I have the nether bee, but they need nether wart to continue going down the branch. So nether wart can be planted on soul stone, soul sand, and I don't have access to soul sand yet. So my hope is that this quest that I'm doing gives me soul sand. Yeah. So basically, to get nether bees, you need to combine modest and cultivated. I had a purebred cultivated up here, and I brought it into the nether, and it bred. And it did not a terrible job of breeding. And uh, we got it to the point where it like got the first tier of sinister bees, which is the nether bees, that I need for refractory capsules that I need for an upcoming quest. But then I needed another wart. So, we're hoping that we get soul sand from this quest. And if we do, we'll be happy. Dun 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 dun. Just a rendering bug, right? Yeah, good. I was like, don't tell me the pyramid broke. You, you. Enjoy all your potions, my good sir. Hey, I see tons of energy has a light on. What's up? So you guys is gated logic. Where were those potion dudes? One of these guys was potions. Blood, sweat, and tears. Soul sand. Exactly what I wanted to see. Nice. All right. So now I can plant in the nether, and that will be cool. Learned. Beautiful. So let me get some of this stuff. Beautiful. So, close one. That was a close one. Told you I was having a day. Nether wart, and now you guys should be cool. See, parched combs? I guess I didn't leave my bees down here. I think I brought them up. So I'm going to go just insert those into there off camera, start that breeding process. The downside to this, the worst part, is in order to breed them, they have to be in the nether. They have to breed in the nether, which means I have to sit in the nether and wait for them to breed because there's no chunk loading. Hooray. Um, by the way, are you guys doing anything nice for me? You're doing a few things that are nice, but nothing great. Uh, oh good, somebody died. <laughs> uh, let's put you up here and see what I got. Anything cool? Forest cultivated, common cultivated. Alright, so I want cultivated. That's really where I want to be. Cultivated is the branching off point to all the good bees. Um, I just have yet to be able to make a purebred common or cultivated, and it's driving me bonkers. So you guys should all process, right? Yeah, you're doing your thing. I don't know. I'm gonna have to add stringy. I don't know if we're gonna have parched all that much. But we're gonna add stringy to the list of things to keep stocked here. Okay, and then you're gonna make propolis for me and I'm gonna be pleased with that. You still have a little bit of a ways to go before you die, which is cool. Meadow's common, meadow's common. You're, eh, yeah, you could probably go away. Let's come back in a minute. I'm going to get these bees going. All right, so while my bees are cooking, where is that big amount of energy? Where does that show itself? Tons of energy. Where do you... 
100 million EU. So that's cool. So you've done your job. Where's the quest reward for that? So I'm not getting a chest there. This was not white. This was small but mighty. Yep. Um, items of power I did. I'm looking for the white light. Anybody see it? Is there a reward for tons of energy? Advanced machines. Do I even get a reward for this? For all the hard work of getting 100 million EU? I don't think there's a reward for it. How rude. Well, got this thing now. I can use it again. Oh well, I completed that objective. Hooray. Bees? Anybody die yet? Hooray. Dead bees. All right, what did I get? Uh, common cultivated, common common. And Meadow's common. Not exactly what I was going for, but we'll see. You're almost dead, which is cool and exciting to me. And we should be getting more Popolis now. Wouldn't it be amazing if I got some Industrious out of this guy? It would be extremely unlikely, but it would also be amazing. Uh, nobody else is dead yet. I just want to see what this guy turns into. No, I said I'd be doing mostly bees off camera, but it's hard. Unwary cultivated. Common cultivated. Common cultivated. Really, guys? Come on. Don't make me lose my unwary branch. That would be really uncool of you. I have no options. Except to do common cultivated, I think. Common cultivated is the, the only thing I can do. I just have to hope that unwary lasts. Um, Alright, let's come back in a few minutes here. I'm going to babysit these bees, and I'm also going to babysit the ones down in the nether. And hopefully, we can get there. All right, guys, we're back. After a really long time of waiting for bees to die. And I think I finally did it. Let's see. Fiendish, fiendish, fiendish. Let's cross our fingers that these are all purebred because I think they should be. Fiendish. Fiendish, fiendish, purebred, yes! All right, finally, awesome. So you can see I had a long work through. I got fiendish cultivated, fiendish sinister, fiendish sinister cult, like all kinds of awfulness pretty much happened. But. And we also got a bunch of combs here, which is cool. Um, I'm excited. So now to test if I can get these bees living topside. Of course it's nighttime, why not? There we go. Let's sleep through that night. And the worst part is my... Overworld bees didn't die at all because no chunk loading. I don't think chunk loaders exist, right? Yeah, no, cold chunk, that's all you get. No such thing as chunk loading in this pack, as far as I know. I don't think we have the teleport pipes because they were like rudimentary chunk loaders back in the day. So let's put all this junk away. So this is a fiendish worker, that's awesome. So these are purebreds, which means that we are in really good shape for what we want to do. Let's come over here. And make that a reality. Let's put all this stuff away. Of course. Poison. Only when I'm recording do I get poisoned. Nice. So that should start doing the thing. Where's my bucket? So now, the real question is, over here, yoink. So you guys can all come out. And if I put you in here, are you going to be cool? Are we going to be cool? You know what we're going to need is flowers. We need nether wart. Um, so let's get something that can get me nether wart. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'll just work my way down. To soul sand. And nether wart. So in theory... Soul Sand doesn't fall, right? Oh, I'm taking damage. That's a good sign. Yeah, no flowers. But now he should be happy. So those bees sting. That's what the fiendish ones do. They hurt in not a good way. They totally just directly damage you, which is awesome. But the key here is that I think I've got 
Oh, nice. Look at that. Refractory wax coming in. Beautiful. Loving it. Loving to see that. So we've got a lot of refractory wax coming in, which is cool. Uh, I'm going to need to speed you up. What is on extractor module? Extractor module mark two. Just needs a golden chipset. Come here for a second, would you? Or a golden gear. I think I have golden gears over here. Don't I have golden gears over here? I totally do. Make me one, would you guys? I've noticed that extraction being a little bit slow. Nice. So that's a little bit quicker. Okay. Uh, so I think we're in really great shape, if I'm being honest with you guys. I'm super excited because I think we're able to get what we need from bees. I'm not going to do the insanity ultimate crazy challenge, which is the Omega Bee. I don't even know if Omega Bee is enabled in this pack, but that's just not happening. I've had so much displeasure doing bees right now that I'm like not at all interested. Newer versions of, of, of forestry are funner because you can do like a whole bunch of fun automation and lots of machines to make bees a little bit better behaved. But in this version, they were painful, man. They were really painful. You were in it for the long haul. Um, hey, why are you saying no flowers? Probably because I totally broke that vine. I'm sure I did something with vines, right? Uh, 8 EMC. Good. Fine, you can hang out there. That should make that... So that bee's been stinging me this whole time, but I totally was not getting anything good. But refractory wax is what's up. Because we need a lot of that stuff. So we will probably set up, maybe next episode, another automation system for these guys to automate getting the refractory wax back to the main place. Um, the deal with them is that I need... 64 lava, 64 biofuel, 64 seed oil, 64 water capsules, 64 oil, 64 honey capsules, 64 biomass, 64 fuel, and 64 juice. All of that seems totally reasonable. Honey might be a little bit tricky, um, but everything else should be relatively easy. I don't think honey or combs probably have an EMC value, right? No. Uh, so honey is going to be the tricky one to get. Uh, and obviously we need to get all the refractory wax that we need to get this. But everything else should be easy to get. Um, so yeah, that should be totally doable. Biofuel, none of that should be a problem. It's going to require a bunch of machines and automation. But that's what's fun. Uh, so let this thing run, get a bunch of refractory wax. Let these guys run, get a bunch of honey. And for now, Darwell20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We definitely made good progress today. And I'll catch you next time. All right, guys. Take it easy.